come back here with me. Okay, super. Oh. Hey, Brittany. Like he said, um, uh, my name's Zach. Okay. Um, I, this is a recorder. We record everything just, you know, for records and everything. I get it. Um, I know this has been going over and going over, but, um, what, basically what's going on is they did a coroner's inquiry where, uh, the families have a lot of questions about how everything transpired that I'm sure you're aware of. Um, but it caused the coroner to have it kind of reinvestigated, mm -hmm. okay, and looked into, and that's where we come in. Yeah, it should have been investigated, you know, the day after it happened, mm -hmm. not eight months down mm -hmm. the road. So mm -hmm. I agree completely with mm -hmm. what they're doing. So. Okay, okay. Um, basically, uh, what I'm going to have you do and, uh, is basically try to just briefly go over it again. Uh, to kind of tell me what happened. Um, there's been a few things, you know, maybe where people were sitting, uh, where they were at, when it happened. Um, because obviously what we're trying to do is make sure what you guys are saying did actually happen. Mm -hmm. The way it happened, the way you're saying it happened. Um, there's some things that have came to, to light, uh, looking back at everything that's been investigated at this point, that is a little suspicious to us, okay? Um, we're just, you know, we don't want anybody to get in trouble. The family doesn't want anybody to get in trouble. Oh, I know. They're my family. Okay. But we're trying to make it, uh, but what they don't want is, you know, if, if it wasn't him, the one that actually shot, shot the gun off, if it was somebody else, it was an accident, they just want to know, and so do we. Yeah, but the thing about it is nobody did and it. That's, and that, and, they and, just want the report changed that he didn't commit suicide, that it was an accident. That's what they want, I thought it. Mm -hmm. You know, like, but... Mm -hmm. Well... Anyways, I'll go on. Yeah, go um, on. The night that it happened, we, uh, me and Jake, we made plans prior on Facebook, and... God forbid we did that. Anyways, my boyfriend, William, he went to pick him up with me and Evan. And um, me and Jake had a case of beer that we were drinking on like two days before this even happened. And those are where the empty beer bottles and the one box came from, actually. And then the other case we bought at the Castellia Market. Mm-hmm. I got vodka and Bloody Mary mix. At the market? Yeah. Okay. And we went back to my house. Everything was fine. Jake showed us the gun. I started freaking out because he brought a gun through Castalia and, like, it's hard enough to get by with underage drinking in Castalia, let alone weapons and stuff. And then afterwards, uh, like, we all got excited, and he asked us if we wanted to shoot it. So we did. We went outside, and he told us the same at the white bucket. I didn't. I only shot it once, <laughs> and I didn't, but who cares? Yeah. And we all shot it or whatever, and then we went back inside the house. Um, I remember Jersey Shore or something being on behind him. And I remember him smiling because he was telling stories and like, we were all just conversating, you know. I don't remember what they were about. But this is after you shot outside and came yeah, back in. Yeah, yeah. Where, where was everybody Where was everybody sitting? My couch. My couch was along this wall, and mm -hmm. I was right here, and like Evan was right here, and I'm pretty sure William was in the chair that was like right next to the couch right here and then the ottoman it's like a detachable sort right. of thing um it came off and that's where like jake was sitting slash on the ground before obviously but yeah it was william me and then evan okay and um after after he got off the phone um, 
he picked up the gun from the ottoman and like I don't think he realized there was one in in like the the main part of the gun that shoots at like, the cylinder where the bullets go. No, he knew there was one in there because okay. he he's the one who put them all in. Okay. Because after we shot off the gun, mm -hmm. um, he like took them all out, mm -hmm. the casing set is, and like just put them on the floor pretty much, and. Uh, my, I have a German Shepherd, and it's actually his and Kaylee's, but I didn't want Sin to get them and, you know, choke on them or whatever, so I put the rest of them in the trash, but he handed one of us a souvenir one, and after the accident, like, I gave, I told the cops instantly, I gave them it from my room because I put it on my dresser. But he put the other bullet in there because none of us, like, I don't, I don't know how to work anything, and so, uh, he put it you, back in there. He put the bullet back in? Yeah, he put it back so in So what you were so. saying is that you don't think he thought it was the next one that was going to go Yeah, out? that's what I'm okay. saying. Like, I don't think it registered in his mind that, wow, there's one out of six here, you know? Like, that's why it's so terrible to go back and think about, right. because, right. like, it's my... It's my niece's no, dad, you yeah. know? Yeah. It's my sister's love of her life, and it's yeah. Mike and Shannon's baby boy. Right. And it's all because we made plans yeah. for Brady and everyone to come over to my house and party right. that this happened, right. you know? I know. Yeah. I feel bad. Oh, well, sure. And none of us had anything to do with it. None of us. Well, let's go. Before we get to that, why don't we just go back real quick and just, um, so you guys were on the couch. Mm -hmm. He did that with the gun. He emptied it out is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, and, and then, then. put it back in. Uh-huh. And uh, he did pass it around. Like, we got to look at it again. I was looking at it and thinking about how my ears were still ringing. Uh-huh. Um, it was back on the ottoman, and he picked it up, and he, like, was on the phone. Then he got off the phone, and then it was, like, the gun went off. And at first I thought it was a joke. Like, it just didn't... I don't know. It was weird. Um, but then I watched him fall. Uh-huh. And, like, we were all sitting, you know, and just to see the way that he first, like, landed out and then, like, just yeah. hit the floor. And after that happened, um, obviously all of our immediate reaction was to run into the kitchen. And I, um, I went to get a towel. As Evan was dialing 911, and um, then I had to talk to 911 mm -hmm. because Evan didn't know the address. Okay. Um, but I grabbed a towel and I put it by his head. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I pretty much just screamed the rest of it. Um, when the cops got there, I just, I remember I wanted to be outside, mm -hmm. but they wouldn't let me outside because I wouldn't stop freaking out. But right. the only thing that I could smell was gunpowder and right. everything, you know, right. like I wanted to be out of my house and mm -hmm. the cops wouldn't let me. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. It was retarded. And um, the only person that I wanted to see was my sister. And when she got there, the only thing I remember is hugging my mom. And my sister hugged me for maybe like a, a second. And then I got put in the car with my Nana and Grandpa. After that, they made me go back inside for questioning. Okay. And then after that, um, I got changed in my room. I was the only one who was allowed to get changed, apparently, because William didn't change his clothes, he even, like, threw his shoes away. 
Mm-hmm. At the at the cab station, they they were in Sandusky County's garbage can. Right. right. So I don't know if that was put towards evidence or if that's just off in a garbage right. dump. <laughs> right. Right. Um. Okay. So that's basically. That's Nothing more you want to add, or, I mean, that's how you recall everything? Yeah, I mean, it's been a stressful, stressful eight months. I mean, I've talked to lawyers, I've pinpointed it for Mike, even, like, you know, and I had a dream that maybe somebody moved, like, they picked up the gun, like, in Shaq, and then put it back down, but it was a dream, you know, and nobody, Evan and William, they don't remember that happening, so I think that... When did that that come? Did you tell that to... I told that to Mike. You did tell that to Mike? Yeah, because I had a dream about it, and I... Did you tell him that it was a dream, or you just told him that that was a... Yeah, I told him, I told him it was a dream, and like, but it felt so real you know it felt like i was like back there back at the time so that's why i told him about it because i thought maybe it happened where was the where was the gun exactly do you remember where it was i don't even remember like what okay so basically you know some of the questions um they're uh, basically um how can i put it uh you know, obviously, there, there's some questions from people where they thought maybe, you know, William was messing with it and it accidentally went off. I okay. understand that. Um, going back and reviewing what um, initially the deputies asked you guys and then several months later what um, the investigator from the prosecutor's office talked to you guys um, there was there were some uh, inconsistencies of maybe where people were. Was the gun in his wa- you know in his waistband? Was it on the ottoman? Things like that, just little things. Sometimes um, you know, uh, bringing the question, you know, was everybody covering for somebody because of what happened? Well, and, and what we you know what we want to avoid is taking this to grand jury, getting an indictment, and something bad happening to somebody. Who's innocent? Because I would be pissed. Right, right. Well, well, like, and, that's why. and that's the thing about it. People who even think that I would lie mm-hmm. to cover somebody's ass about this, right. that's fucking, that's unreal to me. Like, right. why would somebody think that I would lie about that? Right. Right. That's what frustrates me. I would never. If one of them did it, I would have fucking told them on that night that it happened. It wouldn't be no scandal. Right. Like. Okay. All right. I know, but I just want everybody to believe me. I took a polygraph test. Yeah. Yeah. Can you guys get those answers? We do. We do. You have all the list of questions that Mm -hmm. they asked. Mm -hmm. Do you have his too? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so those don't clear in court, do they? Um, criminally, criminally and stuff, they can't be used in, in court. Um, Why is they're that? more of an investigative tool for people who are like myself and yeah, and but O'Connell and why can't they be used in court if cops it, use them? Well, it's, now? it's because they're just just not allowed. It, it's it's uh, um, for. And this is going years back when they first started using polygraphs. When they were it crappy. Was ruled, some well, of that. Now that they're high tech. Well, it's it's it, they still don't allow it. They they just don't. That's just what the courts don't allow it. But at the same time, we're not at that point. That's yeah. Not to that. We but we can I still use wanna, it for our investigations. I just want to make sure that mine, Williams and Evans' name can be cleared. Because we are telling the truth about it. One Our other, stories might be mixed up because the cops came back at right, us right. in the middle of July. Right. I mean, come on. It should have been done that week when everything was still fresh mm-hmm. and ready in my mm-hmm. brain. Mm-hmm. Like, if it's not the alcohol that I was consuming this summer. How much, how much, how much, and just to go back to that a little bit, 
how much had you guys had that, that day? Because oh, I know you guys had went out to eat or something like that. Did you have a few drinks when you did you go out to eat earlier that day or something? I, I had like three beers prior to picking him up. And Where was that at? At my house okay. with the Budweiser. We had a but like a little twelve pack of Budweiser. Okay. And then I bought Bloody Mary mix and vodka because I didn't want to drink beer. Now, did you, now going back to the when you went out to eat, correct? You guys went out, you and... I have no idea. You don't remember? I don't remember anything. You don't remember going to the tavern? I don't. Where, no, it was Friday. Was it your mom works or his mom or something? That's or? my mom, and I don't, I don't remember going out to eat. I don't... Like, seriously, the only thing that I can remember is the clothes that I was wearing and the thing that happened that night. It's like, I can remember just, seeing him fall. And don't be, okay. well, and, and I don't want you to be offended by what I'm asking you, but it wasn't because you had taken any drugs or you had too no. much to drink that you don't remember. No, it wasn't like that okay. at all. I can okay. I can handle myself on okay. alcohol, you know? Right. I'm not stupid when it comes to okay. it. Okay. Um, my Bloody Mary mix... Like, I drank three beers before we went and picked Jacob. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I didn't even get to drink barely half of my Bloody Mary because by the time we were back inside after I made it, it, it happened. Like, we were not drunk at all when it happened. I mean, I gotta ask. Yeah, and I know that. And I know people had questions because of the case being empty and beer cans were everywhere. And it's like, no, 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 no. Half the beer bottles that were empty were from me and Jake like three nights before that and nobody nobody can take to even ask that because they don't understand he's an underage kid with alcohol you know he's not gonna drink it all by himself Uh um uh so one of the other issues is that there you know there was an autopsy done Mm -hmm. some of the um angling of where it was, you know, way back here, compared to, you know, it being an accident, it being back here, um, uh, can you explain if, you know, if you're saying, you know, obviously it was in his hand, he pulled the trigger, how it was so far back, what was he doing with the gun, maybe, to where it was, were you looking at him when it actually happened, or I mean, did you look up? after the I shot looked, or I looked up because I was watching Jersey Shore right. and he was on the phone right and then I looked I put my drink down mm-hmm. and then by the end of me doing that I was watching him fall and like the last thing that I remember is just him smiling you know it, prior to that yeah well, well like, obviously well, it was like before I put my drink down like he was just whatever smiling like right. whatever right. having a good time and then all of a sudden i go like this and he's falling and my ears are ringing again and i'm like is this a joke mm-hmm. and then i jet to the kitchen and start screaming right okay so okay so prior to you um you actually saw him did you see the gun where it was prior to him picking it up? Yeah, it was on top of Okay. Did you see him actually yes, as in Jacob had, pick it up? Yes, he had it in his hand. Okay. He had it in his was hand. Was he currently on the phone when it happened or had he hung up the phone? No, it was right after he hung up the phone because we were about, he said, let's go pick these faggots up. Okay. And he was talking about his friends. Okay. Um, Corey and... Or, no, it was Chris and Brady. Okay. So, um, it was, it was legitly an accident done by him. It was an accident, but, like, there's a, everybody has so many questions, and it's like, yeah. how do I remember not even 20 seconds 20 seconds, I have to remember what four people in a room were doing, what was going on behind it, and how everybody was sitting and standing and looking at each other and talking about, how do I do right. that? Right. How do I do that? Can you do that from last week? This is from eight months ago, and it still haunts me, you know? And things things in my mind have changed. Like, you know, I, 
I don't know. Hi, Tim. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Hello. It's just, uh, it's really hard. Mm-hmm. Sure. And um, it's really hard to go back and remember because I don't want to jeopardize the investigation anymore. And, like, yeah. you know, if I say so-and-so was sitting here but really they were sitting here and i didn't remember that like now i'm the one who made somebody else look guilty and like mm -hmm. i don't i don't want to do that it right. was i just want all of this to go away and right. you know it's not well and that well but that's why we're here that's why we're trying to you know uh, answer all the questions that might have might come up from us from the family whatever the case may be that's why we're here we're, we're, we're trying to sew up all the loose ends and, and make sure, try to make everybody, you know, know the truth and make sure everything is taken care of. Yeah, so, I know that. Right. Okay. Um, uh, so one of the one of the things that was said is that it possibly was in his waistband before it happened. That's not the case, or you don't know where that would have came from. I don't know. I I have no idea. I wish I remembered. Right. I wish I remembered. Um, okay. I thought, like, that's where he carried it before. He put it in his back, like, the small of his back. You say before, when's that? Like, when he first flashed the gun, that's where it was at. So if he picked it up, why? Did you guys know he had it when you guys were in the car, when you guys picked him up? I don't remember him saying anything about it. Okay. I, until we got home, like, until we got to my house, but Evan and William, she can come in. It's, it's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, at one point in time, Mike even asked me if Evan was going to buy the gun, and I had no idea. I was like... Oh, wait, say that again? Who? Mike. Jake's dad. Okay. Yeah, and at one point. Oh, okay. You yeah, mean later at one, on. Yeah, at one point he asked me if Evan was going to buy it, if that's why they were there. And no, I didn't know anything about that, first okay. off. Secondly, I mean, Jesus. Right. They're, it's just confusing. It's all confusing. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I have something to ask you. Sure. These kids uh -huh. have been questioned, questioned, questioned. Mm -hmm. They take oh. a lie detector test. Mm -hmm. They pass them. Mm -hmm. Is someone trying to say this was a murder? No. And no. if they are, no, should is they have against, a lawyer? No. This is no. against the Sandusky County because they didn't do their job the night of the murder. Oh. Now that that's happened, they have to reopen everything because Mike, his dad, is going after Sandusky County for not doing their job. The coroner didn't even come to my house apparently that night. Mixed up in the ruffle, I don't know which one a coroner is. Right. So, you know, I okay, just remember. I was, just a, I was just getting a little worried. Yeah, don't get worried at all. No, it's nothing it, about it, that. It, it's, yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with that. Uh, no, it, it's, it's them against I Sandusky County. Okay. And I was freaking out about it, and my sister said, well, just go over and find out. Yeah. So I did. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No, nothing to be concerned about. They're just asking okay. us more questions about it. Well, the and same questions. Things, uh, same questions, but there's, you know, there's different there's, responses because it's later. Yeah, there's been some things stuff. that have changed and things, love, you know. Uh, well, I'm glad somebody's investigating that whole thing because it was a mess. It, it was a mess. It was a mess. And. Uh, you know, things things happen and things come to light over over months of an investigation too. That there's questions about. We're just trying to find the answers to them, and we're hoping that we can figure them out and, and hopefully it'll be a done deal. So. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm very protective of my grandson. I'm sure you are. That's understandable. And breaking. Yeah. That's understandable. Okay. Well, thanks for telling me. Uh huh. The angling thing, I have no idea where they got that. Okay. I don't know, but I also didn't see where the point of entry or exit was. And you didn't actually didn't, see it go off? I, yeah, but he had it in his hand. Well, I know, I, yeah. I mean, and, like, I seen... I'm not, I mean, I when I say that, I'm the, not saying that you're not telling me yeah, that. Yeah, I just... 
I, I'm I mean, talking about as far as angles or whatever. Yeah, he didn't I actually didn't see, see his, the position he was in. Yeah, I seen him turning. Like, I know he was turning for a fact because his feet were turning. So I know he was turning. I just... I don't know what happened. I don't know if he just didn't realize that that was the next one or if he was just like... I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. It still baffles me to this day. Okay. And, um, as for Mike and Shannon and everybody, I just, I keep on telling them sorry and it's not the right word. You know, like, I'm sorry that I've, that I'm the one who made plans with them, you know? Like, Mike said he's sorry because he's the one that didn't let him drink there and it's like, well, underage of course you're not right. like you're his dad I'm just sorry that this happened right. anything else that you can think of that you might want to add or um... mm. it was it's pretty much like that like this I was wearing a lime green chuck it like a champ shirt from Terry's Tavern right right um, they said that you, you shot the gun? Yeah. So did William. William did. So did Evan. And so did Jacob. Jacob. Once, twice? Did somebody shoot it twice? or? Yeah, somebody shot it twice. Okay. I don't know who it was, though. Okay. Like, I, I thought it was just William, but maybe it's Evan, and I don't want to be the one that looks like a liar, so okay. I'm just, just going to say I don't okay. know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just know somebody shot it twice. Okay. And I wish I would have shot it twice as well. Was that before, um, did you go in before it was shot twice, or did, were they still shooting when you had went in the house, or was that pretty much when that was done? I mean, we all passed around the gun. Right. And then they were standing I mean, outside got, just talking, okay. so I got cold and ran inside. But did anybody, was that, then it they were didn't get shot again? Okay. No. That was it? Yeah, it okay. didn't get shot again. You do okay. I wish it would have. Um, uh, so, where, uh, so you got, um, Evan, you, right, is it Evan you, or you and Evan, and then William? Evan, me, William. Okay. And then Jacob. Jacob. And William was on the couch, or ottoman, or... Yeah, the chair the, or what? Uh, yeah, the chair. There's a chair at the end of the couch? Uh, yeah, it was like an extra part of the couch. An much. extra part of the couch, yeah. okay. Yeah, and we, it's a chair. Is it connected and, to the ch couch? Well, there was like this little brown thing in the middle of it where I put my drink, and um, it was pretty much right by the couch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me and William were holding hands distance away from each other, so okay. it's a part of the couch slash okay. ottoman is what right. I called it as well. Okay. Um, but the ottoman is like a separate square part to the chair that... So you guys were sitting up. down, and you said that um, the gun was on the ottoman. Did William pick it up then and say, hey, it's cool or whatever? And then I know you said it got passed around again. Mm-hmm. Is that who... Would William pick it up and he was looking at it or... No, it, Jake just asked us if we wanted to look at it. Oh. And so we started looking at it because had he, he had shot already, that gun. Had he already taken the shells out of it, or had he not done that yet? I have no idea. I really don't remember which okay. one came first. All okay. I remember is that it happened. Um, okay, so 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 J Jake asked you guys, hey, do you want to see it again? That's yeah. A, okay. And, well, no, he just or, started, yeah, whatever. He passed it around again, and... Okay. Yeah, he did say, watch out, because there's one in there. He did say that. He did say that. Yeah, so he must have put the bullet in there when we were passing it around. But, um, where was I going with that? I don't know. We were just asking about yeah. who had it, you passed around, and then you went back and said, oh, he did say... Yeah, that he be did. careful. He did. There's yeah, one in there. I was answering your first question because he, yeah, he knew that there was one in there. He, the casings were already distributed through us, and then in the garbage, the ones that weren't. So, so, so. that had already been done. Yeah. 
Okay. And then we passed it around, and then I believe William put it back on the ottoman, and then Jacob picked it up. I mean, it's a it's a stretch from the ottoman, from the chair, so. Okay. It's not like. About how far away um, do you think Jake was, and Jacob, from where you guys were? Is it all about the same distance, or is it closer to William? You or is it kind of was he in the middle between all you guys or he's closer he to that was, end? He ended up falling. Okay. 